I like going to the movies. It's my favorite thing. I love uh, horror movies. I've noticed kind of a weird sexist thing in horror movies, um, which is nobody believes their wife. I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not. <laughs> Especially haunted house movies for some reason. Because like all these movies like Conjuring and like Paranormal Activity and Insidious, they all follow the same basic plot point, which is a married couple moves into a new house. First night, the wife has some terrifying supernatural experience, and she runs and tells her husband about it, and he tells her she's just stressed from the move. <laughs> so why don't you just believe your wife? Isn't that hard? I feel so bad for this lady. Ten minutes into the movie, she runs to her husband, she's like, I was just in the bathtub, and the water turned red and started bubbling, and this thing with the head of a goat came out of the wall and spat mounted Twizzlers in my face, and then Stephen, it, it screamed the name of our firstborn child. Husband's just like, Babe, you're just stressed from the move. I, we had a big move. Why are you so stressed? It's sexist. Because like an hour into the movie, a broom falls over in front of the husband. He's like, this place is hot as fuck! Why don't you say something, babe? So then they get some crusty old Irish Catholic priest in and cleanse the place. This guy just wanders around like, oh, there's a terrible presence in this house. Oh, something awful has happened to you. This is the bathroom. This is where she saw the... Th Let's just take a look. Mm, that's very strange. It's not typical for an ensuite, is it? No. Has she been stressed lately? Sounds like a touch of stress. At my 30th birthday recently, uh, I've been thinking about my grandfather a lot, because like, by the time my grandfather was my age, like he'd been around the world, fought in the Second World War, I recently bought a second towel. So there is a... <laughs> kind of a discrepancy in accomplishment. I think about it all the time, like, could I go to war? Like, if there was, like, a world war tomorrow and there's a draft, would I go? Like, I don't think people from my generation would flourish under combat situations. <laughs> people who fought World War II, they were tough. There was no time to complain. I didn't see anybody on the beach in Saving Private Ryan going, like, I think there was gluten in these rations. And I... Do you get crampy when you... I was like, do you want to feed me this belt? He's like, do you feel like general anxiety in the barracks? You're gonna get shot in the face by a German. Keep your head down, you know? There's no time. Just see some guy wandering around like, does anyone have the Wi-Fi for the beach? Pin down. were tougher back then, you know? Look at, like, posters from that time period. It's all stuff like, we can do it. We're all in this together. And nowadays, people just post wishy-washy junk on Facebook. It doesn't mean anything, these stupid mantras. My friend posted the other day against a, a light purple background, love conquers all. <laughs> <laughs> love conquers all. I was like, that is not historically accurate. <laughs> No general's ever been briefing, briefing his army like, Many of you men have never snuggled with the enemy before. <laughs> Once inside the enemy's walls, be vulnerable. Tell them how you really feel. <laughs> Some guy in the back's like, Don't we need bombs and bullets and guns to win a war? It's like, ooh, 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 ooh. Somebody didn't read Tegan's Facebook post. <laughs> we need love. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we do need more love in the world. It's a violent world out there. You read about gun violence all the time, I find that very distressing. I think I figured out why guns are so popular. I was watching the last John Wick movie. I was enjoying myself. That's a good film. And I had this epiphany. I was like, wow, guns make a really cool noise. 
I'm not talking about gunfire. That's its own separate thing. I'm just talking about like just like playing with a gun, reloading it. It's a very satisfying. If you've ever pumped a shotgun, it's a good satisfying sound. That like yes, cooking with gas. So I thought, okay, if politicians want to cut down on gun violence for real, all they got to do is force gun manufacturers to make guns that don't make masculine sounds when you play with them. <laughs> you will cut down on gun violence overnight if some guy buys a shotgun, he's showing it off to his friends, it's like, Smith and Wesson Company. <laughs> there wouldn't be any movies like John Wick. You couldn't deliver a line holding one of those things. Like cartels are in town. Looks like it's time to take out the trash. Cinnamon bits. Oh. Maybe we can talk this out. 